Well, hey guys, it is crazy to talk about rainy weather and cool conditions when half the West is on fire. But here in the Colorado mountains, we are having one of the most verdant summers I've ever remembered. The last four years, this is the greenest it's ever been. It, the grass is the tallest it's ever been. We have more flowers than we've ever seen. And so I'm gonna take you into the woods and show you what's coming up as a result of all of this rain. Colorado, the mountains of Colorado are known for mushrooms, and in particular, the King Balik style porcini mushrooms. And I've noticed after taking Vigo for a walk that we have had a lot of these mushrooms popping up and they are safe to eat. The other thing I wanna point out to you guys, gotta show you this, I'm gonna get closer, but right on the other side of our property fence here, I don't know if you can see in the background, all of these white, all of these white flower globes, that's osha root. And I've done some videos in the past about osha root. I've talked about the health benefits of osha root and we have a literal field of osha. Actually, we have three locations of osha right around our property. And it's more than I've ever seen in the last four years since we've been here. It's the most I've ever, ever seen. I'm standing next to osha root that is shoulder high to me, <laughs> okay? Look at this osha root. Uh, well, this isn't the root, right? This is the osha plant. And the osha plant has, uh, what are these called? Flower brocks, that flower bracts that are circular. And they kind of remind you of Queen Anne's lace a little bit. They are also very similar to poisonous hemlock. But if you know your plants and you know where they grow, OSHA grows at 9,000 feet in elevation and it grows within aspen trees and aspen groves. And when you pick off a piece of OSHA root and you smell it, it smells like parsley. So that's how you know it's OSHA root and it's not a poisonous hemlock. So now is not the time to harvest OSHA root. What you're supposed to do is harvest the root in the fall. The fall is when all of the nutrients from the flowers and the leaves, but once the plant dies and all the nutrients go into the root, that's when you wanna harvest the root. So we're not doing any OSHA harvesting today. We're just letting the plants grow. Come on, Vigo. Oh, he wants to play with a toy. Come on, let's go for walkies. Come on, let's go. You don't need to bring your toy. Okay, maybe he wants to bring his toy. It's a little tricky to find the mushrooms this time of year because there's so much grass. We've had so much rain. Everything is overgrown that it's actually been really tricky to find mushrooms. Where I saw them was along the side of the path. So I'm going to get those first because after last night's rain, I'm sure we have even more. All right, I found one of the locations of our mushrooms. So here is the, this King Balik mushroom. I just had to pull off some of the, uh, some of the, the some of the, uh, the dirt here. It was just kind of busting out. This is one of the biggest mushrooms I've ever seen for the King Balik. You can see why, why it gets its name, but it is a porcini in the porcini family. It's edible. And I mean, I just pulled it right from the ground here. I mean, it is huge. It is huge. So gosh, that's a lucky find guys. I think this mushroom was twice as big as it was yesterday when I saw it. It was half buried under the ground, but um, wow, that's a real score. I think it's gonna be almost too big for my bucket. <laughs> it is, okay. Well, I did see another one. Let me go, let's go see if we can find the other ones. Oh, here it is. It was right next door. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. All of that rain that we got last night, I think these mushrooms doubled in size. So I saw the coloring and I saw that it was kind of pushing its way out of the ground. Ooh, I got rose bushes here. This has got to be careful with your hands. Um, but look at how it's just busting right out of the ground. And I mean, if you're, if you're walking, you don't really necessarily notice it unless you know what you're looking for. The coloring is what you're looking for. And well, let's kind of get this, get this ground out of the way. Might be able to just rock this one out. Another beauty. So you can see King Balik mushroom. It is quite a hefty mushroom. Definitely. Um, it's good to get them when they're fresh like this before the cups 
if the caps start to turn upward, that means they're drying out and they probably are infested with uh, some bugs and larvae and stuff. So this is definitely a fresh one. Would be good to cook it up tonight instead of um, leaving it. So, wow, another good score. I cannot believe it. I mean, how amazing is that? I just found a mushroom the size of my head. <laughs> <laughs> an edible mushroom. I think the mushroom season this year is going to be crazy because of all this rain we've had. So two nice sized king baliks. Uh, it kind of makes me feel motivated just to look around a little bit more since I'm in an area where I just found two about about 10 feet apart. So let's see what else I can find. Well I'm definitely in the right location because here's another one. Now this one's just a baby. This one's just coming up. Whoops. So Here's a rock, and then there's one coming up right here. So this is a really good patch, it looks like, for the mushrooms. But this one's too small to harvest, so we'll give that one a few days. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll just look around here just a little bit more. All right, I found the spot, and there's two mushrooms. One's the kind you eat, and one's the kind you don't. <laughs> so on the side of the trail here, I believe this one is a muscaria. It's not as red, but it's got that white mottled look and that's not the kind that you want to eat but right next door is one of the king belites the coloring is the brownish the reddish brown it's definitely a brown color it's like a golden it almost looks like bread <laughs> so that's what it makes me think of a loaf of bread that's the coloring of the king belite mushroom and um we'll leave this one be this is the I'm pretty sure that's a muscaria even though it's not quite red yet but amanita or whatever you want to call it so that's the kind you do not eat. Well, Vigo, I think we picked all our mushrooms for today. The first time I ever discovered a King Belit mushroom was in Telluride. I was on vacation uh, and my friend pointed them out to me. And so I found a gigantic King Belit mushroom. And that was in August. I think it was like maybe the second week of August. But given the conditions of all of the moisture we've had, they're just springing out of the ground right now, a month early. So, um, you know, that's been good news for us. And if we really love them, that's uh, good eats right there. So we'll see what kind of, what kind of uh, recipe I can come up with tonight to make use of some of these mushrooms. There you go. He forged something too. <laughs> He's got his souvenir. Okay, gonna try to cook up these mushrooms. This is crazy, so. There's, anyhow, they're huge. So I don't know if I'm gonna cook them all, but I feel like I should just to get them, uh, get them cooked. So I got to clean off some of this. And there's definitely a difference between the smaller ones. I've got two smaller ones. And then the larger one, so look at the, the inside of the caps, they're pretty white and creamy. And then the larger one is a lot more yellow on the inside. Oops, well, I just separated it. Uh, <laughs> So the mushroom cap on this one, gigantic. And then so you can see how the inside of this, uh, the porous side is yellowy. So I'm gonna take all that off and I'm not gonna cook that part. Now they say there's definitely a risk for fungal maggots because it's summertime and they're better to pick in the fall when you have those frosts and they don't get in there. But I don't see anything crawling around yet. But as I, as I clean it out, we'll see. If I see anything moving, I'm probably gonna skip eating it. Definitely doing a close inspection to see if I see any kind of larva because, you know, any kind of food you get out in the woods, who knows what's in it. Okay, so I did find the larva in this mushroom. This is the large mushroom. It kind of looked like it because it looks like there are little pinholes in the stem. And then after cutting, I see some crawling out. So I'm going to skip this one, but completely different looking. Look at the difference in the stem on the smaller one. It's totally solid. There's no pinholes in it. So I'm willing to cook this one up. This one, although some people might like the protein, I'm going to pass. <laughs> so the question is, can you be confident that there's no larva in these other two mushrooms? So there is the tiniest of holes and I see like the tiniest little tiny larva on here. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna stick with the caps just themselves. They don't have any holes in them. 
just want to fry up the caps in this one section of stem that doesn't have any kind of pinholes in it. But the, the tiny little pinholes that you do see are pretty much tunnels from the larva. So uh, I'm gonna just chuck these pieces back in the woods. I'm just not feeling that brave. Anyhow, a little bit, I'll fry up all this stuff with some butter just to get the flavor of it. Put a good amount of butter in the pan. Okay, let's have our first bite. Yummy. Oh my gosh, and they're so silky, like not rubbery, not a rubbery mushroom. Yum. Definitely gonna look for more of these when it's not hot summer buggy season. <laughs> or try to find the young ones, because these are delicious. So I'm gonna take out a small portion so Brian can taste them fresh, but then I'm gonna turn the rest of it into a mushroom gravy sauce. The best way to deglaze a pan with mushrooms is with red wine, so. That's gonna taste good. A little bit of chicken broth. And then a little bit of this beef flavored bouillon. Get that beefy flavor because beef and mushrooms is perfect. Okay. All right, how does that look? Mushroom gravy. Nothing better than mushroom gravy on a baked potato.